live in his house in his house he has seven cars you can ask i can show you the doctor he has seven cars so every day he travels in a different car in a week one day he goes in different car and then keep it and then next day next new car another day new car another day new car so he, to go for market there is a specific car he's a doctor to go to office a specific car tell me how many how much it is how to use the money because they have so much money how to use that money you need something to keep uh, if you keep money in bank then you have to pay tax pay tax so he got surprised i said how you have so many cars you are just two two people in the family why you have so many cars he said maharaj this is the car for monday this is car for tuesday this is the car for wednesday so and there is a specific car to go to market this car i used to go to office i have this this car for specific purpose i said so he said my income tax is free i don't pay any income tax because i purchase car i don't have to pay income tax now they show the expenses and then the government uh, repays some tax tax rebate when you purchase house when you purchase car and you purchase car then the government gives tax rebate like leaves you some concessions on the tax i'm saying this because the king parikshit when when he was going for hunting when he reached samik rishi ashram his crown at that time that crown was given by yudhishthir maharaj it was not that same crown given by yudhishthir maharaj that crown was of jarasan after killing uh, jarasand the bhim kept that crown that same crown parikshit maharaj was wearing so in scripture it is coming like so the things of a bad person they also have bad qualities understand like jarasand's crown was contaminated so commentators in scripture are saying how kali entered so the solution is that in reality parikshit maharaj when he reached samik rishi ashram at that day why parikshit maharaj abhishek because they do you and many many crowns but what did yudhishthir maharaj do they wore that crown and went away like in the crown there was gold and the kali entered gold in that crown and kali in one form he entered in the form of snake the demon kali what else the dead snake where did it come from where did it come from kali took form of a dead snake and in one form he entered the crown of parikshit maharaj which was of gold thing change there no change she to be able there and listen everybody then he saw Yogi sir singing singing is the solution
Shingi is the son of Samik Rishi gave them cards. The Kaliyuk started from here. So the Kaliyuk and Guludev was explaining uh, the Kali demon entered the crown of Parikshit Maharaj in gold. When Parikshit Maharaj when he was cursed, that Parikshit Maharaj, he called everybody in the meeting, big big sannyasis. At that time, everybody gave their own opinions. At the end, Sukhdev Goswami Bad. Then they studied Bhagavata Katha. Everybody gave their commentaries. When Sukhdev Goswami Pad came, then Parikshit Maharaj asked if a person is about to die, what is his responsibility? Then Sukhdev Goswami Pad explained I am not telling about myself, he said. Vyas Parashtra, whatever I have heard from my Guru, that I am explaining. I am explaining what I have heard from my Guru. Listening Hari Katha in Hari Nam, this is the responsibility. So here from Bhagavatam started. And that same Katha, Sutta Goswami Pad expressed in front of Swanakadi Rishis. The Bhagavad that we are listening, Sutta Parikshit Sanvad, the Sukh Parikshit Sanvad, the conversation between Sukh Goswami and Parikshit, who is speaking to whom? The Sutta Goswami Pad is expressing this Katha to Swanakadi Rishis. So, the Bhagavad is coming like this. This Katha is coming like this. There Bhagavad was started. At that time, Sutta Goswami Pad is saying, Sukhdev. When Sukhdev Goswami Pad said Katha to Parikshit Maharaj, I was there, I was present there. And whatever I heard, I will express that same Katha in front of you all. So the three conversations that are primarily discussed, there are many many conversations of Bhagavatam. Adivashan means like, sitting as a meeting where they are sit and they discuss and communicate the scriptural thoughts. During Sri Maj Bhagavatam, there are many conversed many many times. But this adivation, these three are the primary ones. This adivation between Sukh and Parikshit Maharaj. The first conversation was on the banks of Saravati River, it was between Narad and Vyas Sanvad. Conversation between Narad and Vyas. Second happened where? On the banks of the Sukh and Parikshit conversation. The third was on the banks of Gomati River. On the banks of Gomati River between Sutubu Samipal and Son Kadrishis. So 
So the devotee is asking, what is the time? Like Sukhdev Goswami Padre is doing Katha, and did that time, did it happen, uh, Sukhdev Goswami was sitting there? Which, is it happening at the same time or is it different time? So the time, Gurudev says the time has passed now. A different story of different times. Some people told that it's happening in parallel. No. God's Katha is going on parallel in many, many universes. This is a fact. But here it is explained that this is a sequence. So this is the sequence explained like this. So Vyasdev express to who? Naraji expressed to Vyasdev. Narad Vyasanvar. And then when Sukhdev Goswami Bhad is explaining to Parikshit Maharaj. Then in Dwapar Yoga, this happened. At the end of Dwapar, this is the appearance of Bhagavat because Bhagavat is eternal, transcendental scripture. Even if it is transcendental, the sequence is coming and we should understand this sequence. Where did the Bhagavatam start from? God Krishna, he Krishna Hoyte Chaturmukha. Krishna Narayan or Krishna, he he expressed to whom? Brahma Ji. Krishna Hoyte Chaturmukha. Brahma Ji told to Narad Ji and then Narad Ji told to Shila Vyasadev and then Vyasadev told this to Sukhdev Goswami Pad and then Sukhdev Goswami Pad told to to Parikshit Maharaj and Sutta Goswami Pad who also listened there so this is the sequence Parampara that's coming and the same Katha what we are listening in Bhagavat Sutta Goswami Pad is telling this to Swan Kadi Rishis Sutta Goswami Pad is expressing this to Swan Kadi Rishis you can see in Bhagavad the first first canto first chapter first verse you can see what is it Sankadi Rishis, after for completing their morning routine, when they are free, they were sitting in their seats. In the meantime, by the mercy of Bhagavad, God, Suttaku Swamipad, appeared in that place. This Katha is coming. This is the first sloka. Who was Sutta? Rom Harshi Sutta. The son of Rosh Rishi Rom Harshan is Sutta Goswami. Was uh, Krishna Nikata? Krishna Nikata? Krishna Nikata? Baldev Prabhu slaughtered the neck of Rom Harshan. Like Dasharan, son was Ramchandra. What is he known as? Dasharati. This, this is the Sanskrit uh, ticket, Sanskrit language. That time, it is a Rom Harshani, like son of Rom Harshan. So when he appeared in Swanika Dirishis, after when they were finished in their morning routine, like doing fire sacrifice and getting fresh, when they were free, when they were sitting, suddenly at that time, Sutta Goswami Bad appeared at that place. And Sutta Goswami Bad, he expressed this same Katha to all the Swanika Dirishis. They asked these questions. They asked questions to Swanika Dirishis. 
Sun Kadir is asked these questions. When Krishna went to his abode, the Kali Yuga started. What is the responsibility of the Jeeva of Kali Yuga, a soul of the Kali Yuga that has taken birth in Kali Yuga? So here from Bhagavatam start, Sutta Goswami Pal, he answered these, quest- these questions and he expressed this Bhagavat Kata in front of all the rishis. And he's saying himself, Sutta Goswami Pal is saying, when Sukhde Goswami Pal expressed this to Sutta he's saying that when Sukhde Goswami Pal told this to Parikshit Maharaj, I was there, Sutta Goswami Pal said this. So Tabu Swami Pad expressed this to Swan and Gadi Rishis. He expressed all the Bhagavad Katha to them. The time is not mentioned. The time is not mentioned here between but when Sukhdev Goswami Math expressed to Parikshit Maharaj that was seven days, seven nights. Sukhdev Parikshit, this was for seven days, seven nights. But the timing of Sutta Goswami Pad and Swankad Rishis is not mentioned how much time. There are eighteen thousand shlokas. There is not much time to read that sloka. You can go through all the slokas quickly. Is it is it possible to do in seven days? You start reading Bhagavat only read slokas and calculate how much time. Like in Matra when Bhagavatam was going on, then they only started to read slokas. Listeners parayan, like the speakers only read the slokas. Because the speaker of the Katha, they will not tell the whole Katha. There is a rule of this uh, thing. They just sit and everybody reads the sloka. The speaker of the Katha, he will tell about the main main things only, it's the summary. And the other time, he will only read the slokas. 18,000 slokas you have to read. That's why Brahmans read this also. In Matra, Tirtha Maharaj used to do Bhagavat like this. Many, many times we used to sit and read the slokas. Only slok, 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 slok. And in seven days we have to complete the 18,000 slokas. So how many sloks in one day? Six, six, no. Ten. 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 Divide eighteen thousand by seven. One day, how many thousand sloks you have to study? How many around twenty five hundred? Only sloka sloka. Not the meaning, but the sloka sloka. Reading, 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 reading. Okay, 2571 25 2571 shlokas per day around 2600 shlokas per day 2571 so this is every day every day so how many hours around like Gurudev. So, no, no, no. Only one person read all the shlokas. In Ramayan, they finish in 24 hours. Like one by one, the speakers speak. But here, Gurudev is saying the one person gives us reading. The Bhagavata Parayan, this is early three, three hours in the morning, three hours in the evening. So, six hours per day. Who is sitting on the spe- spe- seat of the speaker? He is speaking for six hours. Vyasasana, he is sitting on the, the speaker of the Katha. Six hours. I saw no Kirtan, nothing at that time. 
They are over and over again reading the sloka over and over again. And Narayan Maharaj used to come in the middle and used to elaborate a few things. Half an hour, one hour. Even like five to ten years ago, the Bhagavatam, there was a rule. The rule as per the rule of recitation of Bhagavatam, the Katha needs to happen morning and evening both the times. But now the culture has changed. This is the rule. The Panditas, scholar, they come, they want to save their time, so they have changed their rule. They're like, okay, just four hours in the evening, no problem. It's also hard for the materialistic people to sit. In reality, the Bhagavad Parayan is like this. As per the rules, one is the main Vyas, the, the main speaker, the main speaker of the Katha. He elaborates everything to, to listeners and those who are reading the Bhagavad, they are doing Parayan. So, so those if they keep on elaborating a lot then how possible will you cover all the slopers the time will get wasted time will pass a lot of time will pass so main bin katha they just touch on it from the top and don't elaborate in the deep then in the first canto how can you read all the katha of the first canto in second canto third canto all the cantos you cannot study all of them and the tenth canto katha there are two to four leelas just elaborate and then otherwise the listeners will they all will sleep so slowly and slowly we are putting kirtan in the middle of katha otherwise how will you sit for six hours even it's hard for three hours these days so the time is reducing day by day they do one bhagavat one time but in reality it should be morning three hours and evening three hours this used to happen in matra so this is the main rule of Bhagavad. I remember from 6 to 9, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. or 6 to 10 a.m. or 7 to 7 to 10 a.m. And then evening, 4 to 7 p.m. Two times daily. These days, Bhagavad is not happening properly. These days Bhagavad is not happening properly, they are just touching and leaving it. Those people don't have interest to listen. Tirtha Maharaj used to say, how many people come in the morning, 15 to 20 people in the morning and the evening, slowly and slowly, the hall was filled. There were 150, 200 people at night time. Why? Because Mathura Bhagavat, they are, they give Prasad for only two days, on the Janamashtami and on, on the last day. Janamashtami on Akhri Din, right? On the day of Janamashtami celebration and the day of uh, ending, because people don't have time. You should have time also. So in the morning, 20 people coming and evening, many, many people are coming. You tell me. Where is the interest of people? Ruchi, they don't, do you have time? I saw Kirtu Maharaj, Bhagavat. I used to do Parayan. I was like reading the shlokas. They all used to read the shlokas. Of course, they okay, read the shlokas. And Gurudev also used to ask, how many shlokas did you read today? Ah, uh, Nietzsche,
in the assembly of Parikshit Maharaj. So, Dev Goswami Bhatt did not expect. So, Dev Goswami Bhatt, the Bhagavati told to Parikshit Maharaj, it was sloka, 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 sloka. Because at that time, people understood Sanskrit language. Like elaboration, explanation, translation was not needed. Because everyone understood Sanskrit at that time. Now the Kali the power of mind is decreasing. That's why we need translations, different language. They just spoke shloka. So they go some path when he expressed to Parikshit Maharaj. He 18,000 shlokas in 77 night. 77 night. He just spoke shloka because the, and he was absorbed also. Sometimes like taking samadhi also. Five to ten minutes do not speak anything. At that time, everybody knew the language Sanskrit. At, at that time, Sanskrit was like the lo- local language. It, it was like a local language. The Sanskrit was local language at that time. In Braj, there was language of Braj. And the listeners, 88,000 was, the rishis were there, karmavadi, gyanivadi, different different type of rishis.